Ultra. Uh, my uh, lathe tool, uh, Freestyle uh, LSJ channel. Uh, what we're going to do today is what I was talking about early on another uh, video is we're going to uh, turn this little longer uh, cherry leg, a spinning wheel leg, uh, down. I've got it uh, roughed out already so you didn't have to watch me use a, a big gouge to, to kind of get the general contour. Uh, you already know what that looks like pretty much, so uh, let me get my lathe tool uh, freestyle here and we'll uh, get right to it. Alright, and here we go. Hmm, got a little bit of dust on there from the last time we used it. Right, let's see what we get. Start down here. I'm starting a little farther in because uh, this is my uh, tenon edge. This is the part that's going to go in the, the table of the spinning wheel. And uh, I'll size that separately. I can be a little bit more critical. So starting now, we're just going to roll this sweetheart right down the line here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's hungry. here, a little lighter cut, a little more careful contour, I like to go a little slower here, I can get you a pretty nice finish because uh, I'm really following that outline of my master uh, down at the bottom pretty close, so yeah, we're liking that, yeah, that's looking good. I think my uh, bit's getting a little dull there. Usually get a little sharper finish than that. Let me uh, move my fuel rest base over to here. I'm going to find this down here just a little bit more. Follow my contour, make sure we're where we want to be. Pretty good there, a little bit here. Like I said, I only do this on my uh, detail because. Well, the geometry is just off. You can tell it. You don't want to be way down there when your bit's uh, high off between centers. All right, that looks pretty decent. Yeah, what we got there. That's not too bad. I like that. Coming right along. Here's the product of our. Uh, what we started with at wood chips. That's crazy. Let me get a little 100 grit here. I'm just going to knock that out real quick. I'm going to leave it sped up where it is. It's about 2,000, but I don't press very hard here. I'm just doing a real light sand. I just want to get that, well, I call it hairy. There's just a little bit of rough coming off there. I'm not going to lie to you. My bit's a little bit dull. And it's probably about time to rotate that around to a fresher edge. I've been using that side quite a bit. That carbide honestly lasts a pretty long time. You can resharpen it, of course, but uh, as little sandings I'm going to do, I'm going real light here. I don't want to heat my sandpaper up, load it up. I'm just barely touching that real light. Trying to get a general, keep it moving here. I want to show you what this is going to look like. It looks pretty decent. 
and this stamp, oh yeah, that's good. A little bit extra sanding, and I think we'd have it, but uh, that's a pretty good finish coming uh, right off of the, uh, the copy bit. And uh, obviously the My Lathe Tool Freestyle section, you can also freestyle it. So uh, let me show you what this looks like down low against my uh, the master. Uh, you measure that out and you're going to get, uh, golly, I mean, okay, it's not super, super tight tolerance there, but uh, let me just show you, I haven't really done that, but uh, let's see what we get here. I'm going to, uh, let me measure this ball because that's a pretty good standard to just kind of look, let me get a general here with that, this little ball turning part here is. I got uh, uh, one... 672 1672 right there and so then if I uh that's at my high point right here that's what I got so if I do that over here let's see what we're getting uh, I grant you I got to do a little bit more sanding I'm a little bit different let's see what it is I'm uh I'm at one one six six eight so okay I'm showing off but uh normally it's not really that close usually I'm about 15 thousandths difference uh, a little bit more sanding and it'd probably get smaller like that but yeah it's about the same I'm gonna be honest with you uh, when I lined up these points down here I just use a combination square it's pretty simple and uh, I'll, uh, I just put this right on the bed lock it down and I'll bring my point up you can't see it right now obviously the woods mountain and I'll bring the point right to that and I just kind of match up these uh, these point stands a little bit that holds the master, tighten it back down, and then if I want to get real particular, I can kind of bump it around from there on each side, but uh, usually it's pretty close. I didn't expect it to be that close, but yeah, this thing does do a pretty good job. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to show you what that uh, leg was going to look like and uh, the kind of work it can do. Uh, that's actually the second one I've done. I did another one earlier, and so because I need two of them. But yeah, let's flip around this way. So this is this is oak, red oak, and uh, making a wheel out of that. But I also wanted to use the cherry. Uh, believe it or not, this stuff darkens up really pretty uh, when it's in the air a while, and you put her out in the sun, and she'll get a tan just like uh, well, just like you and I do, and uh, that makes it really look pretty. Uh, my wife's got one uh, made out of cherry, of course, and uh, it looks really nice. Uh, of course, it's about 20 years old now, but uh, yeah, there you have it. This thing does a really good job. It's relatively quick. And uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, like and subscribe. It kind of keeps me going. I love having you guys out here with me. It's just you and me. Uh, and uh, tune in again for more uh, uh, My Lathe Tool uh, at work here, My Lathe Tool Freestyle. And, uh, yeah, please follow the link below if uh, you're interested in a little bit uh, more information on this. And uh, thanks again for, uh, for tuning in. Please like and subscribe again. Thank you. Bye-bye.